New at six, some farmers say deer are creating a silent crisis in the state. There are so many deer that lawmakers are now considering letting people hunt them on Sundays. WBZ's Laura Hafley spoke to farmers who say they need that help. Massachusetts is one of the only states left in the country recognizing blue laws, a set of regulations controlling operating hours for businesses and even restricting certain activities, all on Sunday, including hunting. We love the beauty and tranquility of the natural world and enjoy hiking, bird watching, photography. And once again, the state debate revisited regularly is top of the docket during a hearing this month full of passionate perspective. I believe it would be highly unfair to us if the 100 year old Sunday hunting ban was reversed. On the other side of the argument, a group just as vocal farmers claiming hunting lowers the deer population threatening their livelihood. It's really frustrating. We've uh, seeded it a patch of lettuce and then we come back the next morning and the deer have, you know, trampled through it. Harper's farm and garden owner David Harper is a fourth generation farmer, like so many others, facing unpredictable weather and a pandemic, causing financial problems. And the deer don't help. The tops of the carrots, they'll eat right to the ground. These are collard greens. They'll eat cauliflower, broccoli. According to Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife, at any point in the state, there can be anywhere between 12 and 50 deer per square mile. Here's the other problem. Deer are not particularly picky. So let's go take a look at some of the crops Harper's Farm and Garden grows and what they're hoping to protect. I got lettuces, uh, some dandelion greens, some fennel. There are other deer deterrents, including fake coyotes, electric fences, and... I tried to chase them with the tractor, and I popped my tire. Harper understands the need for the ban. There's nothing I like more than going out in the woods and running on a Sunday afternoon. You don't have to worry about any hunters out there. But admits the deer have gotten worse. Avid hunters have attempted to overturn the ban for decades, but no decision has been made. In Lancaster, Laura Hafley, WBZ News.